Hi guys and welcome to another Nintendo video. In this video I'm going to revisit one of my previous videos um, and that's the Elgato Stream Deck, how to make your own for under $10. So in my previous video I made a cheap alternative to the Elgato Stream Deck using a USB uh, number pad keyboard. So in this video I'm going to show you another cheap alternative to the Elgato Stream Deck. Um, this time it'll be using Android and it's free. Stay tuned. Now previously I was using a program called Hid Macros as my alternative to the Elgato Stream Deck. Now before I made the video I looked into a lot of alternatives. Um, there are a fair few out there that can achieve the same thing or, or similar things. I found Hid Macros to be the best one um, out of all the ones that I did try. But now I found a better one. But I can't take all the credit. Uh, I didn't find this personally. Um, I did find some similar to this a while ago um, but they weren't actually around or, or available and it looks like this one's fairly new um, but it was actually a suggestion uh, in the comments section on my old video from a user called TTW uh, so I appreciate um, your suggestion um, and this video is to show my appreciation so the software here I'm talking about is called Touch Portal um, it is multi-platform, uh, available on Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. Uh, now basically you use your Android device or your iOS um, iPhone to control the macros um, and basically the, the software that gets installed on your PC acts as the, uh, the server for the macros. Now this definitely does look a lot nicer than hid macros I must admit. Now there's two versions of this, uh, you can get the free version or the full version. Um, the free version uh, basically has no ads, unlimited actions, um, you can import such export pages, supports both Windows and Mac, um, but you're limited to two pages and four by two button layout. On the full version you don't have limited pages and limited button layouts, uh, so you can change quite a bit. For this video I'm going to use the free version, two pages and four by two is enough uh, macros for me. Naturally, I basically want to replace hid macros, uh, so first thing I'll do is set it up to do all the exact same things that I've got in hid macros. So I'll go ahead and download the Windows version of the software. Um, you can get that from the Touch Portal website. I'll pop a link in the video description below. So at a glance, you've got two uh, icons that are already pre-filled. You can see Home and Tutorials. Um, I believe that just takes you to the home page of Touch Portal and the Tutorials takes you to the Tutorials page. There's not too much going on in terms of uh, the interface. It's pretty straightforward. Um, down the bottom here, you can see the IP address of my computer and the port number that it's using. So you'll need to put these details into your Android or iOS device uh, to allow you to connect. Um, I'll do that shortly. Um, for now, I'll just show, I'll set up a few uh, macros and then we'll go from there. Okay, the first macro I want to set up is a shortcut to my music directory. Um, I'll go ahead and move this over and bring hid macros in. So you can see here, these are the macros that I set up in my previous video. Uh, my music directory is located on the F drive right here. So what I'll do is I'll click on a new icon here, give it a name, call this one music, then I'll click over to here, start an application under the run heading, and what I want to do here is click on application path and choose Explorer, which is located in the Windows directory. And then since the music is in a music folder on F drive, what I need to do here is put in F backslash, sorry, F colon backslash music. Add that and save. Now that's that first one created. You can add icons into here. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this video, um, but you can basically come into here and change the button settings, um, the color of it, um, and you can add a full icon um, for this button. Okay, for the next macro, um, I'm actually gonna skip Photoshop and RDP, which I've got over here in Hid Macros. 
Um, I just don't have a use for these um, at this particular point in time, um, but they work the same way. So basically, you click on the button, you add um, Photoshop, for example, and then you point it to the directory where Photoshop is, uh, as you can see in hid macros here. Uh, and same goes for the RDP. Um, so the other simple one that I want to set up is this PC, um, which pretty much exactly the same as you can see here in hid macros. Um, it opens up um, this PC. So we'll go ahead and click on a new button. I'll call this one this PC. Click over here on run. Start application. And then in this one, we want to choose in the system32 folder. And we want to choose cmd.exe. Um, and then in the command line, basically same as what I've got here for hid macros, we need the forward slash C. And then in quotations, explorer.exe equals. So if I copy that across there, hit add and then save. And that's those two buttons done. And the other one I've got here is switch desktop left and switch desktop right. This is just um, Windows key shortcuts um, when you've got multiple desktops set up. I won't do that one in this particular video, um, but what I will show you is you can have multiple pages. So I've only got one page set up at the moment so what you can do is click on new. And you can't actually see it on the screen at the moment because it's on my other monitor. So I'll go ahead and call this page two. And there you go. I've got a main page and a page two. So if I go back to main page, what I can do is click on a new button and we'll call this button page two. And then under navigation, you've got go to page. And then in here, you can select your page two. Easy done. Obviously you'd pre-fill these with uh, whatever other applications um, and then you'd at least save one to navigate you to page two. Um, so now that you've got one going to page two, you can set up more macros on this one here. So you can really do, make it do what you want. Um, you can put in a URL here. So I'll put a URL to my uh, YouTube channel um, and then the name of it, I'll just call it Lentendo. Now the other thing you will need to do on page two is make a link back to the main page or page one. So if we open up a new macro, I'm gonna call this main since the page is called main. And then under navigation, click on go to page and select the main page, add and save. And that's that. Okay, now once you've got your uh, screens and your macros all set up on your computer, what you need to do is on your Android or iOS device, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm using an Android emulator. Uh, but what you're gonna wanna do is type in touch portal and install that. Once that's finished installing, uh, click open and follow through the prompts at the beginning when you first open it. Basically tells you that you need to install it on your computer. Um, it's not finding anything here um, and that's because my Wi-Fi is on a different subnet to my main computer. So I'll go ahead and select manual. 
Now, if you're now, if your uh, computer's on the same subnet, um, you won't need to do the manual side of things. Uh, but in my environment, I've got uh, a different subnet for my wireless and a different subnet for my wired connections. So at the bottom uh, left hand side of the touch portal software on your computer, uh, you can see the port number and your IP address. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those details in here. And then hit finish. If it finds your computer, you should see your uh, pages. And as you can see here, I'm on page two. I can click main and it's gonna bring me over to my main page, which is basically the first default page. Um, and then you can see music here. This PC, page two, home and tutorials. If I click page two, it obviously brings me over to page two which I've got the Nintendo URL to my YouTube uh, channel and then back to the main page. So basically um, what you need to do from here, um, you can click on any one of your macros and it should open up on your computer. So I'll go ahead and click on my music macro. And as you can see, it opens up my music directory. The next one we have is this PC. So I'll go ahead and click this PC. And as you can see, it brings up this PC. Now, I'll go ahead and click on page two and click on Lentendo. And as you can see, it uh, is loading up my YouTube channel. Pretty straightforward. And that's all for this video, guys. Uh, before I ended the video, I just wanted to show you Touch Portal with some icons that I've added. Uh, you can see music and this PC. And then over on page two, you can see the Lentendo channel. You can also use Touch Portal for XSplit, OBS, uh, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm not going to use it for any of those platforms uh, because I don't use them personally. Um, so I'm not going to go into detail on setting that up. Um, but you can use it for that. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. It's great software. Smash that like button if you like this video. Leave a comment if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content. Thanks for watching.